Well, one local company started to find ways to help bring more art into people's lives during the pandemic. With one simple click, you can see the virtual gallery of Buffalonians and hear their incredible stories. Our Kevin O'Neill talked with the owner of Buffalo's own virtual art gallery. I had the pleasure of uh, chatting with uh, Jalen Law and Lisa Brown of Buffalo's Own Incorporated. They're a nonprofit organization dedicated to promoting Buffalo art and artists. But when our world changed in spring, they pivoted in their purpose. We came together on the idea of how can we use art as a tool during this time to help people. Uh -huh. um, during, this, during this time of the pandemic, um, a lot of families are times that were out of their control. And we noticed that before the pandemic um, dealt with issues of food insecurity. Yeah. And we know that we knew that this issue would get worse as the pandemic progressed on. So I invite you to check it out. You could use a laptop or a phone. They created a virtual art gallery filled with Buffalonians, big and small, different backgrounds. And you walk around, you oh, I like that guy over there. I like the Bills mask on that first responder. So you walk up to somebody and you click on their portrait and you hear their powerful story in their own voice. It's an important reminder for Western New Yorkers to stay united and stay vigilant against COVID-19. This gave us a way to create in reference to what we do as artists and let people know that we, we want to help. You know, we're all in this together. It's not, a, it's about everyone and we have to come together in order to tackle this. And we already have a link to the virtual art gallery and to a GoFundMe page, which seeks to collect food for Western New York families in need. You can also find Buffalo's own on Facebook. Have a great weekend. For Channel 2 News, I'm Kevin O'Neill.